Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. Hashem is totally revealed within the world. The world is all godliness. There's nothing else besides God. But sometimes we are unaware of this revelation of God. And what we're trying to do here at the Torah Channel and what many, many other sources as well are trying to, to perform is to open up our awareness of the Almighty within the world. And this is not something new that we're trying to do here. This is something that Hashem has commanded us to do and given us the tools to do so for thousands of years. And this is mainly and infinitely more than any other way facilitated through the Torah. The Torah is the way in which God is revealed into the world. That the Torah is a vessel, a kli, as we say in the Holy Tongue, to reveal God. Because, just like in a physical example, and even this is light, the idea of light, and light is something that's not really physical, but it's affected, it, 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 it penetrates and it is experienced within the physical. So the example of light, when a light is too, too bright, it actually does not illuminate, but it, it, it blinds. When you get a light shining in your eyes that's too bright, it blinds you. Like the example, you know, you see a light bulb. A light bulb, if you're going to put the power of the sun within the light bulb, the light bulb will not shine the light. The light bulb will not be able to facilitate this illumination. So too, and how much more so with God revealing himself to us at first. If we are not a proper vessel for this light, we will not be able to experience this infinite godly light. So luckily, and not, not just luckily, but in Hashem's greatest kindness, he gave us the Torah. And the Torah is the blueprint for bringing God into a revealed state that we can experience within the world. God is revealed, but his, his revelation is sometimes not, we're not able to apprehend it, we're not able to understand it or tap into it. So what the Torah is a blueprint for is to give us First of all, the teachings to be able to connect our intellect to God's intellect, our wisdom to God's wisdom, and to connect our emotions to God's emotions, to connect our ways to Hashem's ways. Of course, Hashem is not physical, but Hashem is beyond the both. Hashem is, is, is beyond and He is the true life force of physical, but He doesn't have a physical body. But when we give Hashem God, uh, physical terms, it is only because we are physical and they are analogies in order for us to relate to Him. So when we say God's intellect, God's emotions, it is not really in the ways of emotions or intellect that we can understand, but rather it is in ways of tapping into His greatness in a way that we can internalize within our own hearts because we are human beings. We have physical bodies, but yet our soul is infinite, so we fuse the two. So back to what I'm trying to say. With Hashem's greatest kindness, He gave us the Torah. And the Torah has two aspects to it. There's the inner part of the Torah and the, the outer part of the Torah. And the inner part of the Torah, as we've stated in many videos, is Chassidus and Kabbalah. The, the secret of the Torah. The DNA of the soul, as I've heard many rabbis explain, which is beautiful. The DNA of the soul. Which what it means basically, in even more simple terms, is we're learning about our soul. We're learning about the higher levels of reality. And to sum it up, as we said in many videos, as we learned in Chassidus and Kabbalah, in numerous occasions, that there's many, many worlds. And we are in the lowest of all worlds. There are four general worlds, but there's even another level, levels of infinite worlds above those four levels of worlds. And all these worlds go from more... Higher, the higher the worlds are, the more godliness is revealed within these worlds. And the less the beings experience their own presence. And the, as you go downwards in these levels of reality, the downwards le uh, the descent of reality, each world has God's light is hidden more and more and more until we get our physical world where God is the most hidden. And our ego or our ex experience of Self is most strongly re revealed because when God reveals himself, our existence, you know, melts away. Our self feeling of self goes away. That's why in a moment when we're in such mesmerized moments, we lose ourselves. We lose our sense of self. 
we're blown away, we're humbled. There's the expression, I'm humbled. It's because when you get humbled by Hashem's kindness, you lose your sense of ego. You lose your own personal yeshus, as we say in the holy language. We lose our sense of of being. It's very hard to translate this exact way to say it, but you lose your sense of me. So, why? What's going on here? Why are we in a world where God is most hidden? Well, my friends, that is only at first glance. And that is to give us the Torah. That this world where God is most hidden is the perfect platform, is the perfect place for Him to be revealed. Meaning, the place where God has, seems most far away is the place where He's going to come the closest to, re, to be in, in a state of revelation. Why? To give you a physical example, again, it's like a father. A father... Another example I'll give you, actually. An even better one. We ask a, a husband and a wife, when they're engaged, a chasen and kala, a groom and a bride, they are not allowed to speak to each other in Judaism for a week before the wedding. A week before the wedding, they're not allowed to see each other. They're not allowed to speak at all. Not even allowed to, you know, text each other. If they need to communicate with each other, they communicate through another person to get the message over to the, their engage, the person they're engaged to. And one of the reasons to this, and one benefit and, you know, positive outcome of this is that they really miss each other and when they reunite on the day of their wedding this reunification is so much greater because they didn't speak for a week before because they missed each other wondering what are they thinking about what are they doing right now well, i wonder how they're feeling then when they reunite it makes the reunification that much more intense and that and how much more so with the almighty with hashem when he is to reveal himself to us because we experience such a distance so to speak of a, a world where God is so hidden, when He's to be revealed, that revelation is that much greater. And folks, we can tap into this right now by learning the secrets of the Torah, by learning Hasidus, by learning Kabbalah, because we know that Hasidus and Kabbalah is the Torah of Mashiach. That these concepts are going to be revealed, and, and, and not just revealed in an intellectual state where we're learning the ideas, but they're going to be we're going to be able to see the godliness within the world. We're going to be able to see the levels of reality. We're going to see the blueprint, the godly blueprint blueprint of the world with our own eyes, our very eyes, and our souls, and our minds, and our emotions will all experience this divinity within the world. So we can tap into that now by learning Hasidus and Kabbalah. And the outer part of the Torah, that's the inner part of the Torah. The outer part of the Torah is the laws, the physical laws. Because every light needs a vessel. Like we said, if the sun was to shine right in your eyes, you wouldn't experience it. It's that when you have a light with a perfect lens, then you could actually be experiencing the light itself. Not just a blinding light, but a, a illuminating light. A light that helps you actually see. So that with God, with God's light, that is how, how do we do it? Through the, also, that the Torah involves physicality, the outer part of the Torah, that we have to put on physical tefillin. We have to give charity with physical money. We have to give help make food for those, feed those around us, feed our children, do acts of kindness, learn Torah with a physical book, pray to God with our physical bodies. Everything in this world involves using our physicality for spirituality, and that expands the vessel of the world, so that this world, through Torah and Mitzvah, as the Reverend Shab explains, we expand the physical vessels of this world into divine vessels, divine kalim, lenses to apprehend the divine, so that in the times of Mashiach, this infinite godly light will actually be experienced within this finite world. The unification of infinite and finite for the best possible unification. The experience of God Almighty. May Hashem bless you all. May we experience the coming of Mashiach today.